Me and the bees have got something in common. <laughs> What's that? We're all fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> Right, welcome. Skills from Levels here. I'm joined with the man, the myth, the legend, Manchester's very old Bez. How's it going, yes, brother? Well, How you good? You, good to see you, bro. Yeah, good to see you, so. You're looking well. Hey, I've just steamed this shirt for you this morning. Is that what it, it is? I knew uh, you were going to come in a fly yes, coat and start right. showing me up. <laughs> so you've been keeping anyway, man. I know me and you are men of the town. Yeah, yeah. Having no. to stay in every night. How's it been? How's it been? Well, I... I to be truthful, I've had it double well. I hate to show off and that. <laughs> <laughs> but I know people have had it hard, you know, throughout this lockdown and that, you know what I mean? But especially people who are living on their own. Mm. But yeah, uh, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to live in the middle of nowhere. I've got a bar, DJ, <laughs> fires, you know what Mate, I mean? we'll be over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be over. But anyway, on the bees. How did you end up even getting in the bees, like from being just out on the town and being a party head and that? What changes you over to just calming, not calming down, what doing something a lot yeah, more well, chill? Me and the bees have got something in common. <laughs> What's that? We're all fuzzy. <laughs> 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 no, but uh, I got into the bees because um, when my granddad came home from the war, he, he loved the war. He, he saw it was one of the best times of his life. Mm. But he came home with these huge sins of honey and that. And he used to always have honey in, in everything they had in my tea and all that. So I thought one day I like I might keep a few bees myself. I was lucky enough to, someone offered me an eye for 50 quid. Oh, and, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, but this woman was kicking off. Because I, I said I got this eye for 50 quid and this... Uh, some posh woman for I don't know where wrote with the guy and fucking be- getting no saying I could because I got an eye but she was gutted you know what I mean and uh well like he's got fair on the beast yeah well yeah yeah <laughs> and look at you said, now yeah yeah said that uh, it'd be like flash in the pan and all that shit but I'm, I'm still doing it like how long have it, has it been now about seven eight years now yeah because you've been in the schools as well aren't you like he's just selling yeah, the maracas well, and putting the beehives in the schools and that like I bet she, I bet she doesn't know yeah, you've done that yeah. <laughs> you know what well, I mean and it's their idea you know what I mean because I've because I was like buzzing that much on the bees and I wanted to you know, spread the joy and the bees yeah. and teach the kids because like uh, you know to, to give them something to do you know what I mean like, yeah yeah good on you yeah yeah so uh, I started selling the rackers you know with frames and that painted up and uh, putting them into schools by uh, giving them bee eyes bees got all the kids suits all the seals and all that and then uh, I don't know who grasped me up, but someone did. <laughs> and next thing I got a thing in the post like that, you know, uh, health and safety. So yeah, for, so for some reason they did want me putting bees into schools. It sounds oh, yeah, yeah. ludicrous, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. What was I hearing the other day? Well, have you ever heard that that, uh, that bees are actually wasps? Uh, no, but I've heard wasps for terrorists though. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, that when it gets to that uh, end of summer. The, the, like bees will bother you, you know what I mean? But wasps, if you've got an apple or a sugary drink in your hand, mm. they're having you, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. so, tell me about them having you, about the bees having you with you. Uh, what was it, your first day you'd get in on it or something? Yeah, you had yeah, your zip down. I've had some moments because uh, f- f- one thing I didn't do, what I should have done, I should have read books on keeping bees yeah, yeah. instead of diving straight in there. But my first honey harvest, I was went down there and I had all my kit on me to order up all of it. And I was like, I was being filmed. And I was Oh, you being filmed? Did yeah, you yeah, know what I mean? Because it's like my first only harvest, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And uh, lucky mistake, left me fly open, then had on my jeans. Got down there, next minute, they must have got a gang, not just one. The waiters have got the full gang in there. And they give it me, you know what I mean? And I was like, <laughs> yeah, and I've, I've running up the field, I was screaming like, oh. You'll have to try and get us a chop yeah, of this video yeah, to chop yeah, in here. Yeah, hopefully, we can swing money. Don't worry, guys, I can do the rest. Oh, okay, ah! Right, fucking Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. I 
think it's probably the highest, well, what's it called? No pitch I've ever reached. <laughs> yeah. I felt like Dennis Reed's off, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, yeah. But anyway, another time as well, and another mistake I'll never make again. We had uh, yellow polka dot socks. I took my jeans into me fucking socks. Went down there and I was oh, Honestly, it was like a red flag to a bull, you know, yellow polka dots. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, and I got stung that many times around my ankles. I couldn't walk. <laughs> yeah. Like the pressure doesn't yeah, work yeah, making you think so. Yeah, like, my ankles are like that, you know what I mean? It was like the elephant in the man around the ankles. Tell me about Thingy again as well, the... Uh... You didn't get that deep into it before, the shamanic way of the beat. Well, what it is, it's uh, all this, like, this style of beat is like proper Victorian, you know what I mean? But they, they, there's a book called The Shamanic Way of the Beat by Simon Burroughs. And you've got, uh, you, it's a, a must read for anybody. And basically, it's, uh, um, what do you say, anthropology, you know, the yeah, study yeah. of man. Yeah. And it's a tradition, English tradition, what's gone down for uh, for, for over 4,000 years or something, you know, mad like that. And it's been passed verbally. And this fella, Simon Burroughs, he's actually stole on somebody else's work and pretended it was his own. <laughs> yeah, but he's put it into the yeah, text. Yeah, but he's put it into uh, a writing, you know what I mean? And the, the, the woman's side of it's called the Melissa's and they've still uh, revealed their secrets. Mm. But basically this book, it's, it's insane, you know what I mean? And uh, you got, it's a mad journey what you've got to go on. And one of them is uh, they get bees and you're stimulating all your meridian points. Uh, bit, and you go on like a two week fever. Oh, so you become immune to it or something? Well, you, yeah, well, I... I when I get stung by bees now, they don't bother me, you know what I mean? Yeah, you don't really but, but feel if it. I, I've not done this one though, they're stimulating like, like your dream circle in your head, all your meridian points. And you end up on this like two week feverish trip, you know what I mean? Like hallucinating your bollocks off for a fortnight. And oh, one of the things you've got to do as well is uh, you've got to go and hunt a stag and kill it with your bare hands. You cut his knackers off, you fill it with all sorts of pollen and all that. <laughs> And uh, then you walk around there, uh, collecting like um, sticks, and it's called like the ancestral rig. So basically, you collect all these sticks, and uh, uh, cut a long story short, because I could go on forever about it. But uh, at the end of this journey, when you become like a, a, a bee shaman, you you uh, go so off to this uh, island, and they make uh, this hallucinogenic honey. From like, uh, I can't remember, like all the poison. Oh, I've seen some about this. Yeah, actually. yeah. On tribe or something? No, this is English, though. This is oh, English right. tradition. It's like, and anyway, they rub this all the solution, Jenny, only over you bollocks, fucking. The next week, you're running around with an ad on with your ancestral ring. <laughs> so you're flying on your broom like that, you know? <laughs> it's honestly. It's can we that. have it? When can we have it? We yeah, need to yeah. go, don't we? Well, you've got to read this book. It's like. like oh, I'm those, getting it after yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. There's no doubt about it. But one thing I learned from it, because. Um, is how to deal with me bees because what I didn't know and it gave a little secret away in the book and they love uh, you know the, the, what's it called the cauldron what you wash your bench in with the holes in it yeah if you put a nail in there and spin it round and it goes <laughs> as it's spinning round so when you go in the hive now before I go in I go there get my finger with my nail in spin it round it makes this metallic noise and the bees love it so they all come out and they're flying round you're talking psychopathically, you know, but, 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 like, but, but you're telling them what you're doing, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And the fucking difference is made, you won't believe well, so it. Well, you don't even have to smoke them or anything. Well, you could yeah, smoke them, but this smoke, is... A... So, smoking's still good, but uh, what I do now is I communicate with them first, you know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah. cause we're all, like, part of this fucking one thing. Of course you are, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so a bit, uh, so if you take your time to, you know, do a bit of communicating with them, yeah, and people say the same with plants and stuff, yeah, don't they, yeah, as well? Yeah. And you won't believe the difference it's made, you know, some beekeeping. Mm. Yeah, I You've not been get, stung in the bollocks since. Stung, yeah, I don't, <laughs> don't get stung anymore. And uh, they, honestly, they don't even bother me because I've so could take the time, you know, to communicate before I go in there. 
So yeah, I, 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 if you want a good read, I would recommend this book. Oh, I'm on it. We could just stay and talk about bees all day, but we better fucking move on a little bit as well. What's the yeah? Uh, what's that? What's the deal with the goggle box? Then we've seen you smacking yeah, it on there. Yeah, yeah, you become no. like TV favourites again. Yeah, well, like the good thing about goggle box is it's like in the middle of this pandemic thing what we've got going on. Yeah. So we've not been grafting, so I like thought we've got a bit of work yeah. and. We've, you know, working with your mate, you know what I mean? You can't be yeah, it, so yeah, yeah. Than, yeah. And it went down well as well, you know what I mean? It went down really well, yeah, man. I literally, so. I've not heard people talk about just like a feature of, of a program, you know, because a lot of other people on there, but I only wanted to see it was your, yeah, was your yeah, section. No. She joins us now and tell us more, and look what's washed up on the beach. Global warming. Mermaids are eating our shores now. Yeah. It was, it was, it was good, and it's like, nothing like it seems, you know, power. Nothing's what it seems on TV, so you just watch a uh, short minute, few bits of clips on it, mm. and uh, they encourage you, you know, to talk about the finger. But I don't know if I should tell you, fuck it, I would tell you. <laughs> yeah, you know, at Glastonbury, how we have them little squeezy bottles. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, with finger, and uh, Sean had all his fucking things, no nasal strains and that. I said, here, are they? Have a go on this one, you know what I mean? Got my nails to say like that. <laughs> With it and that's when he's like fucking ranting away, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> the belting, yeah, yeah. you can't beat him. So yeah. what, and then it led on to something else now. What's this? What's his new like YouTube channel? Yeah. Well, yeah, we've done that a couple of that, but um, I don't think any more. More with me, and Sean's on that. Sean's fell out with the, I don't know, the producer type kid. Mm. But um, they, they've asked me to carry on, so I've done a. Uh, Similar things with this woman called Emma Kenner, who's like a TV psychologist type thing. And uh, they want me to carry on the, uh, next year, you know. Uh, so there'll be more shows, but unfortunately, Sean don't want to do it anymore. Ooh. But he's he's busy making music, so he's made some soft tunes. Uh, he's done one with um, No, No, No Gallagher. Oh, Belty. Yeah, 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 sounds really good. He's done one with uh, Robbie Williams, I'll take that. Uh, I'm not a robot, sounds good, you know what I mean? But the best one he's done, with one of the fucking child heroes, Lee Scratch. He has a... Yeah, oh, oh, I'm God. buzzing on that, you know what I mean? What I like, know oh, no one does Robbie with But Lee Scratch Perry. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's a benchmark, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. What was I going to say then? Oh, what yeah. Have your cell phones? Skills. Go on. You tell me what you've been doing, mate. Be honest, I think I've been a lot better off than a lot of people. It's like, like yourself, like, oh, I mean, I've got my studio and I've got I've got a, a, a nice social bubble just on my block. You've got your woman and your dog. I've got my woman and I just got a dog just before <laughs> lockdown, so everything was laughing, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. If I was going to mention your lads there, Jack and Arlo, because it was interesting for me when uh, a few years ago, even at Glasgow, seeing them doing a lot of management stuff. And then at Beat Herder, I've seen them play this wicked DJ sitting there. What's it like to watch them doing the same sort of, you know what I mean, to be on the deck? Yeah, well, well, it's nice because um, I never watched, so I'm around with the old fella, you know what I mean? It's yeah, yeah. Great fun. Oh, they look like that, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it's nice that my son's like hanging about with me. We have a good time. And uh, yeah, it's great, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it must be wicked just to, and, just to watch and, it. And you know what it's like in this day and age, you know what I mean? And uh, for me, like, you, you get one chance at life and if you don't, you've got to enjoy it, you know what I mean? And you're doing the things that you enjoy and making you happy. Mm. And it's got to be a good thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, mate. But you know what, though? It's like when you're saying there, you built all these huge back catalogue. It's great because you can get a writer's block and like go back to like the lockdown. That, that's true, actually. Do you know what? I, 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 actually, for the first time, I look forward to a writer's block. I actually, brought, <laughs> I actually wrote a bar the other day and I was like, my mind won't go blank again. Because it just, just finger words all the time right yeah. now. But to be honest, I see it as a blessing because I'd, I'd just start operating, getting them out rather than just writing all the time. Like my phone is just full, my computer is full. So it, it, it takes the art of it, but... Yeah, well, you're a poet, really, as well, are you? I'm yeah. a wordsmith, I think, at heart, yeah. yeah. But yeah, poet, poet. Well, I remember right. yeah, your first album, what you come out, and uh, I seen you down at the Red Bricks. I was telling this story yeah. yesterday, yeah, Kim, yeah. no, it was the Yellow Bricks. It was the Yellow Bricks. Yeah, yeah I'll yeah, never yeah. forget that, yeah. I phoned my dad, you know. Yeah, yeah. That was the first time I spoke with him, but I was sat on the floor, and he'd come over, and he'd like, hey, come over, I thought you'd mad at me at first, because I'm sat on the floor, come on. You skittles? I was like, yeah, we're like, come on, we've done it. He's like, top album now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here, that. I thought we'd be down, like, down, best just said, got a sick album. Yeah, uh, it's funny. So, straight out of the levels came to out, 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 what, what was, you know, all, all, the, all the boys getting together to 
Yeah, well, to be honest, we've all been around each other for a long time, and then it was Rich who's, who's you know, suggested the, the, these new, this new group of people who, you know, we all work together anyway. But uh, there was a couple of us who hadn't worked together, and most of us generally had. But just to, for it to be together in that format, and it be basically, you know, the not to put anyone else down in Manchester, but at that time, the people who were put doing the most for the scene, who put, who were creating the most, and were getting a. Uh, you know, getting the best quality out of the work at the time. And that's not to say there's not other people because there's loads of other yeah, people. Exactly. But, but at that time, it was just the prime time to get these people all work. And even now it's different, you know, some of us are working harder than others, but, you know, at that time, it was, that was just a, that was just a vision what I think Richard had, had seen from a distance and thought, you know, this is going to, oh. this will this will kick off. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it really has, you know what I mean? Was you mm. surprised that it went, it went down so well? Or? Yeah, that was those shocks because obviously you've got, you've got, some of the members of the crew are already quite established in their own right anyway and for levels as a collective within like a year or two to be bigger than all of us yeah, yeah. And I didn't think that was going to happen yeah, like yeah. at first even I was thinking yeah I'll do this yeah. thing with these guys but you know yeah. you know, you do you feel like that a little bit but then you get involved you're like this is actually bigger than bigger than us all yeah. you know what I mean no, it's, it's when you work together you can't you can't be it can you uh, no, it's worked well for you do not it mm. uh, but you know what though is, uh, I think our, our city you know what I mean we've got this creativity going on it's just fucking no. madness isn't it it's insane I mean? the play really is like I go anywhere I go in the world and you think oh it's great here I could live here after four days you're like get me home like, man, not not because you don't like the place but man just is so special and we just have everything here you know what I mean obviously not right now but normally we've just got everything it's just it's caters for everything the, the, the diversity as well yeah. I just love the city mate. and we've contributed a lot to music you know what I mean yeah, in the more rock stars from here than anywhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good capita. Yeah. But I, I got told um, uh, there's a big fucking powerful way line going right through the city. Mm, a ley line, yeah. 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 Bob into that game, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. They reckon the energy of that knows, gives us our creativity. Yeah, I fully back that, man. I fully back it. Like the Naya Centre now where we do a lot of work, the energy in there is ridiculous and that's supposed to be bang on the ley line. Is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And Fingy said something when Nina Simone played there, she said something about the energy that she felt in there and that. And I had like a mad epiphany in there on the stage and I don't even know I was off my head a bit, to be honest, so I don't think it's going to be going on. But the, but the guy... Yeah. Um, who come and did he did a clearing in there or something like you know like a shaman yeah, type yeah, guy yeah, yeah, yeah. and he when he found out where I was he went where you were it was exactly where Nina Simone would have been because right. basically the yeah. stage now they've cut it off it's got a big metal sheet on it so the stage used to be twice as deep so yeah. now when you're in the foyer of the Naya you're actually on the stage and it was weird because I didn't think I was anywhere near the bit where she was and he was like no no that wall wasn't there she was over there because yeah. when the guy come in he didn't even know where she'd been he yeah. walked in there and he's gone she could have played in here because if she did, her piano would have been floating in thin air over there. Yeah. But he was right because really the stage was back like that. Uh -huh. And then the guy who was the sound engineer turned up on the night and he went, is this where Nina was? In the foyer. And the guy went, yeah, that's exactly where Nina was. Yeah. And he had no idea. No yeah. pictures or anything. Yeah, fucking big massive fan of Nina Simone. It's powerful lyrics she did. Yeah, she was a mad yeah. artist as well. Right, well, it's been an absolute pleasure anyway, bro. Yeah, and I'll come down to your bar, see you on yeah, the far. So see you later, the boys. Well, Best ladies and gentlemen. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Buzzing in the beehive out right now featuring Bez himself. Get on the YouTube, like, subscribe, comment, buy the single, and get a bloody t shirt and all. <laughs> and one more thing, beehive yourself. Yeah, beehive yourself. Yeah. <laughs>